the dreadful awkward stage an unfortunate process all of us have to go through if we do want to get to this stage of hair growth luckily for myself along the way i did find some tips and tricks that helped me get through these times and today i'd like to share these ideas with you guys hopefully so i can help you get through these stages as well so without further ado let's get into it okay so for my first tip today that i'm going to show you guys is going to be accessories the accessories that I chose to use throughout the awkward stages were both bandanas as well as beanies. Another good accessory to use would be hats, but I just never chose to use hats because I think I look terrible in them. Uh, but if it works for you, go for it, of course. Um, I will demonstrate what I look like in these accessories today just so you can get an idea of what you might look like with long hair. As well as I also do have photos of when I was going through the awkward stages using both beanies and bandanas. So when I do demonstrate these, I will show you guys a photo of those in each. Okay, so for bandanas, I will post a photo right here of when I was in the awkward stage wearing bandanas. And I'm wearing it right now just to give you all a look once you do get long hair to see maybe if you'll like it or if not. But again, this was one of my favorite accessories through the whole stages just because I just think the whole style of bandanas are cool. But yeah, let's get into what the beanies look like. Okay, so the second accessory I'm going to show you guys today is going to be beanies. I will post a photo right here of when I was in the awkward stage wearing beanies, just so you can have an idea of what it might look like. Uh, I will also show you right now what it looks like with long hair, just so maybe you can have something to look forward to if you really do like the look. But how I initially will do it is I will pull my hair behind my ears, just because I like that look a little bit more. Um, but just without it, this is it with my hair just down to the sides. Again, it's not a bad look. Uh, I just think it's kind of in the way. So I'll just put it on normally like this and then I will tuck it nice behind my ears like this. And then I'll just kind of wear it like this. Now, and then I'll pull it down past my ears just like this. Pull it up a little bit. I like to let my roots show just a little bit. It's my personal preference. But again, super easy for winter. I will do this anytime I don't want to style my hair if it's super greasy. But yeah, I hope you guys like the look. Okay, so for my second tip of this video that I'm gonna show you guys, it's going to be the use of products. Products while growing out your hair is super important in my opinion. Once you initially are starting out your hair growth, you're probably gonna to have to get rid of some of your old products because they're probably a clay or a mold or something you use to hold your hair up in a certain style. So once you are growing it out and it does get a little bit longer, I do recommend something like this, which is a serum. The brand is Lanza that I use. I'm, I wish I could say I was sponsored by them, but I'm not. It's just what worked for me while I was growing out my hair. But what it does is it'll take away the frizz and it'll just help your hair sit a little bit nicer, not look as dry. And how I do apply it, I'll put like a dime size of it in my palm, just mix it up nicely and only apply it to the ends because that's typically where your hair is the most frizzy and it gets a lot oilier quicker in the roots. So I always avoid the roots typically. Another product that I use here is a leave-in conditioner. Again, I'll just typically use this only after I shampoo my hair, just because that's when it's very frizzy and it just settles it down so nicely without giving it a greasy look. But yeah, essentially those are the only two products I will use while growing out my hair. If I can avoid using products in general, I will. But again, it's super important if you do have dry, frizzy hair. All right, so tip number three that I have to show you today is going to be shampoos and conditioners, as well as how to use them effectively. At least what worked for me, I'd recommend trying it just to see, you never know. So my favorite brand, again, is going to be Lanza. It just has worked the best for me. It makes my hair feel the most healthy. The thing that I like about Lanza is that they are sulfate free. It's very important to find a shampoo and conditioner that are sulfate free. Sulfates are just overall not good for your hair. It can damage them a lot easier. It can leave it feeling super dry and frizzy. It's just nothing you should deal with. So how I will go about washing my hair is I actually apply conditioner first to my hair. I will make a video one of these days just to show you exactly what it looks like. But just with my description here, again, apply the conditioner first. Once you have it in, just leave it in like you would conditioner. I would recommend leaving it in maybe for about five minutes if you can wait that long. And just like in the meantime, maybe wash your body, shave, whatever you gotta do. But once you have it left in, I actually do not recommend washing it out after that time. I will actually use the shampoo right on it while the conditioner's sitting in there. Again, wait five minutes-ish before you use the shampoo. But once you have the shampoo in there, don't let it sit in for a long period of time or anything. Just wash it out immediately once you're done. 
And with the shampoo, I also recommend that you only wash typically the roots. I would avoid the ends just because they dry out so much easier and shampoo just tends to dry out hair. So if you can, mainly the roots. And that will leave your hair, or at least it left my hair, feeling super soft and looking more shiny and healthy overall. So I hope this tip helps you guys. So the fourth tip that I'm going to talk about with you guys today is getting maintenance trims on your hair throughout your whole process. And what I recommend is getting a trim every four to five months. And how you go about it, or at least how I went about it, was that I would go to my hairdresser and I would show him a photo of what I wanted my end goal to look like. I will post a photo right here of the photo I showed my hairdresser, as well as I will post a photo right here of when I was growing my hair out about three to four years ago when I was in high school. And what I did was I grew it out for about 12 to 14 months and I did not get one trim the whole time. I was just winging it and just letting it go. Uh, it had no shape, it had no good look to it. I don't recommend going without a haircut. Again, probably every four to five months, just get like maybe a little trim, less than half an inch, nothing too crazy. Just cut off some split ends and keep your hair looking healthy and in a good shape. For my fifth and final tip that I wanna share with you all today, it might sound cliche, but it is a topic that needs to be addressed. It is being patient with your hair growth. And the reason I think this is important is because I'm gonna show you a photo of when I first started, right here. Uh, this was again, two and a half, three years ago, uh, when I decided to grow up my hair the second time. I was just going for a fun style, I wanted to see what I'd look like with some blonde hair on the top, but then I realized I liked my long hair when I first tried it out. I wanna see where it can go the second time. So, because I was motivated, I decided to stick with it, and I'm so happy I did. But as I can say here, it's just, it's a process you have to go through, and no matter what, there's gonna be stages you don't wanna deal with. And that's why I'm showing you these tips throughout the video to try and get through it. All I can say is you will hit your end goal and you will be happy you hit it. So please, coming from my experience, please stick with it and just see how you look with long hair. Even if you don't like it at the end, you can at least say you tried and you'll have no regrets looking back at it years down the road. All right, so there you have it. Those are my five tips and tricks that have helped me get through the awkward stage and I hope this motivates you to get through that awkward stage as well. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to like and subscribe as it does help me create more content for you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.